Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by as always. I'm so happy to have you here. So happy to be here doing this for you guys. This is going to be a reading for the collective. Uh, it's a timeless reading and it is for all signs, divine feminine, divine masculine. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm sending you guys much love and light and gratitude to you guys. Thank you. You guys, I'm picking up on some energy here. There is some fake phony energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm picking up on some fake phony energy. I even heard copycat. Yeah, something to do with copycat. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and tap into the energy, you guys. Please remember to take only what resonates with you. What does not, please leave it. All energy is for... Oh, look at these cards that are coming out. Yeah, so <laughs> all energy is um, for um, male, female, he, she, him, her, people, places, and things. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Y'all, look at this. That messed up my beginning spiel. I'm seeing night, right? So somebody very loyal, somebody very romantic, a very good energy. I'm picking up on masculine energy here and then a little trickster. Mmm, yeah, this looks like um, a masculine is with the trickster, right? Somebody who is playing them. Yeah, somebody feels played, played with. I'm seeing somebody duplicity, right? So a very manipulating energy, right? That's being revealed to this masculine is what I'm getting. Yeah, I feel like this is a very loyal, good energy, Oh, child, somebody then fell for some game is what I'm getting here. Yeah, because I'm they feel played. Somebody feels played. Spirit, please give us more. Oh, okay. Thank you. Femme fatale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks like a uh, karmic. I'm getting on this like this karmic feminine energy here. Inappropriate use of sensuality, right? So I'm getting attachment to money and power. Somebody for the street, somebody that the mask then came off. This is somebody who made themselves appear to be a divine feminine. This is someone I feel like made themselves appear to be like you, divine feminine. Mm -hmm. I'm picking up on shape shifting energy. What? Ooh enlightened okay king energy i feel like this masculine is now enlightened right it's coming to light what's happening here who they chose i'm seeing something to do with orphans somebody being abandoned or somebody about to be abandoned mm -hmm. yep the mask has come off yeah, this cycle is coming to an end with this masculine. They see this, they see this karmic feminine for what their worth is what I'm getting. Look, there is a lot of gossip. This is some messy energy that this masculine is involved themselves in. They got played, or they feel like they got played, right? This fake copycat energy, right? I feel like they really this is someone that you know or know of, or they know of you, this feminine. Energy, mm-hmm, martyr. Somebody likes to play victim is what I'm getting, the shadow attribute. They like to play victim, but this is a trickster. This is someone that's very manipulative, very duplicitous, right? Mm-hmm. And this masculine sees that they have gotten caught up with this energy, chow. This masculine is regretting this. Oh, oh my goodness. W look at these cards coming out. Oh, they've learned their lesson. I'm seeing there must be getting advice from someone else, right? <laughs> Romantic charm, potential for power. Oh, I'm seeing Prince. Yeah. I'm seeing that this person wants to come back towards you. A scribe, something to do with a message, but it's interesting because this also is coming up with this card gossip. 
So it's like there's a lot of gossip going on. And then scribe, the shadow side of this is like altering facts, twisting people's words and things like that. Oh, this is a manipulator. This is some fraud. Look, destroyer. This masculine is trying to figure out, I feel like, how to get out of this. This is like, I feel like this masculine may feel like this karmic feminine may try and destroy them. Yeah. They're very manipulative, gossip, something to do with fraud, changing things, twisting words or documents. Chow, look at all of this coming out. That's too many cards. I feel like there is a lot that it has come out or is going to come out. Oh, what else we got? Please give us more. Mm. Yeah, I feel like this, I feel like this karmic cycle is either over or it's ending. This masculine feels like crap. This masculine feels like crap. I feel like they wish they would have followed their intuition, but they didn't. And they fell for this betrayal. This is a whole cycle of betrayal. This feminine made themselves appear to be like a divine feminine. But I feel like they copied you, divine feminine, whomever this is resonating with. I feel like they were copying you and this masculine fell for it. What a fool. Oh, this masculine feels like they've been played right when I said that the fool came out, right? I feel like they were very open and vulnerable. They thought that this was a divine feminine. They thought they, they were open, vulnerable, told them everything, trusted them. And then the mask came off. The veil came, was moved, removed. Everything came out. This person is for the streets. Look, I'm seeing somebody that manipulates somebody with their looks or their, um, I feel like this person uses their looks or their intimacy, right? Erotic energy is what I'm getting. Something to do with that to where as they manipulated this masculine, right? Seduce them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This could have been a third party that came in between you guys, but it's all blowing up in their face now because this person is not who they said they were. This is not who they said they were, right? This masculine feels played. They are sick about this, right? They're falling apart. They are falling apart because I feel like whomever this is resonating with, I feel like they allowed this sneaky karmic energy, this feminine energy to come in between you guys. Oh, oh. mm-hmm. Teacher. I'm telling you, they're on a spiritual journey. This masculine is on the spiritual journey. I feel like this is something, I feel like this was like very traumatic for them. And I feel like it triggered. This like triggered this masculine into an awakening, right? It shook them up, right? This masculine is shook by this. And I feel like it's a spiritual awakening because this masculine's wondering like, what, what's wrong with me? How did I fall for this? And how did I lose divine feminine over this oh my gosh there is a lot of regrets right mm -hmm. and remember i told you there's like a lot of gossip deception right i feel like gaslighting um changing up the narrative yeah switching up the narrative or something with regards to what this masculine says, or they feel, there could even be blackmail involved here, child. This masculine is definitely trying to figure out a way to get out of this. But I feel like they feel like, look, destroyer, this person's going to try and destroy them if they walk away from them. This is a whole complete flip side. They're seeing a dark side. This is like a very dark energy that is being revealed about this person to this masculine, right? <sighs> they miss divine feminine. Mm -hmm. They know divine, divine feminine's energy was always very pure, right? 
very honest. They knew that they could trust divine feminine. They could be vulnerable. And they went skipping along with this person and thought that that was going to be the same child. Look, oh, violates trust of spiritual community, seduced, own spiritual role. Child, this could be a whole witch, right? A dark witch. Remember I said dark energy? This could be a witch, right? Mm-hmm. Because I'm, look, it, the energy that's coming out here, right? <sighs> Pioneer. Now they see that you're the first person and the only person like you. They see that there is no one like you, right? Mm-hmm. Mystic energy, I'm telling you, mystic, mystical energy. Delusional rapport with the divine. Mm. There's some spell work going on here. There's some spell work. This masculine is caught up. Like this masculine feels like they are trapped. Yeah. They feel like they are trapped, right? Mm-hmm. They thought they went and found another you, another divine feminine. There ain't no other you. Divine feminine, healing energy. Yeah, empath. This person is cold, then turn cold on them. Ciao. Mm-hmm. It's all backfiring, right? With the I just said backfiring. Look, saboteur, sabotage. Oh. Oh. This masculine feels like they sabotage everything with you. They're kicking themselves. Like, how could I do this? And they're over there feeling trapped, right? With this doppelganger. That's what I'm getting. Like, this person's like a shapeshifter. They're like, who are you? Mm-hmm. They finding out now. Oh, my goodness. This person, I told you, look, I'm seeing this person is trying to um, corner this masculine, right? Mm -hmm. It's all being revealed. It was all game. This masculine must have, they have, I don't know. There's something, I feel like this masculine may be um, very stable. And I also feel like this feminine wants everything that you have or has. That's for some of you guys, not all of you guys. So this feminine could definitely be um, somebody that you've known for an extended period of time and they intentionally sabotage this to hurt you. But like they're trying to corner this masculine, right? <sighs> Look, angel. They see you are an earth angel, right? They had a false sense of security because of what they experienced with you, Divine Feminine. They thought that they could just go and get another one of you. Ooh, no. They had an earth angel with Divine Feminine, the chosen one, the light worker, the star seed. But with this, I'm seeing you're the type that's very empathetic. It's like helping those that are in need, right? You don't expect anything in return. Very good energy. You just like to help people, right? Very angelic energy. This person is on the other side. They're seeing the other side. Child, this is like a fallen angel that they're with, right? This is a fallen angel. I'm a, y'all, because I'm seeing acting innocent or angelic to mislead others. Falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance this person was faking spirituality because i feel like you're very spiritual divine feminine right i feel like you have psychic gifts and things like that you're a seer right you could be a reader you could be um a spiritualist um somebody has a home office i feel like there could you could be a, like a spiritual counselor or something like that right but i feel like this person faked being that Fake doing what you do, right? This is a fallen angel. Mm-hmm. They thought they found another earth angel. They went and found a fallen angel. Child, Sarah, please give us more. 
they feel trapped over here, right? But it's all being exposed and brought to light, right? And they feel like crap because they ended up, they, they messed up with you. You were the real thing, right? Mm-hmm. And they're finding out what's hidden with this karmic right now, child. They, they're, this person would love to have your forgiveness. Mm, I just heard too soon. I feel like your energy is that you may not be receptive to them. Mm-hmm. You may not be that receptive to this masculine, right? Nope. Oh. Something, I keep seeing father. This could be, is this a child's father? Or somebody could be talking to their father? Or is this heavenly father? Child. Rescuer. This person is definitely turning to spirituality. They see that this is a very dark energy that they're involved with, right? And they're trying to get rescued from this, right? I'm hearing being delivered from this. This is, woo. They, they get a lesson. They are learning their lesson with this feminine child. Oh, oh my goodness. What else we got here, spirit? Please give us more. Mm-hmm. They feel trapped. And I'm telling you, I'm picking up on like some dark magic or something like that. I feel like they may have even caught this feminine with someone else. This feminine could have had them in the third party. Now I'm seeing mother. Could this be a child's mother that they're with for some of you guys? Or they could be talking to their mother about you. Please take it how it resonates. But mother is showing up here, right? Mm-hmm. Y'all. And then I'm also seeing bully. So this is like a very bullying, controlling energy. They acted like they were very soft and gentle. And then they just turned into chow. I don't even know what the word is. Just a bully is what I'm getting, right? Ooh. This masculine is getting it handed to them, right? This is a lesson, right? They fumbled. They fumbled with you. They fumble with you. You could be some uh, like a spiritual counselor is what I'm getting. Something like that for some of you guys, right? Or a lot of people could come to you for advice, come to the house, things like that. Because I'm picking up on like a home office or something like that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go to the tarot, you guys. Ooh, this person is definitely turning to spiritual guidance, right? I'm getting a spiritual awakening with this person. Um, I feel like they did learn a lot from you. That's why mentor and teacher was showing up. And I feel like they're definitely turning to a lot of the things that they learned from you. This is all divine intervention, divine timing, you coming into this person's life. Because I feel like you may feel as though they weren't listening, but they definitely learned a lot from you and from the relationship that you guys had. But they regret causing this tower moment between you guys, right? They feel stupid. They feel like they, they're embarrassed. Because it's like, how could they have fallen for this now that the mask came off with this person? Mm-hmm. They feel like this is karma, is what I'm getting, right? This mask got ripped off real quick with them, right? Yeah, this divine masculine. I feel like this, this karmic feminine could even be like confronting them about you. They could be arguing about you. Deceptive energy, right? Deceptive trickster there's trickster again a deceptive trickster showing up again here with the seven of swords right Woo! this masculine look got a lot of work trying to get out of this right look somebody's about to be out in the cold i'm seeing this person is traditional wants a commitment right i feel like they're they want that commitment with you they thought they wanted it with this karmic feminine child. Because mm -mm. they got them in a whole third party situation. That's what I'm getting. 
They got them in a third party situation. Ciao. Mm-hmm. I think there's something. This masculine is like paranoid, right? It's like this masculine can't even close their eyes around this person or can't trust this person. Yeah, they may have like taken something. I'm hearing thief, right? Something to do with theft. Uh-huh. And you know that thing about altering documents and things like that that we've seen earlier? There could be something to do with fraud. Wow. This person wants to rebuild things with you, build a future with you. I feel like for some of you guys, they've already abandoned. They've already abandoned this karmic energy. This was a karmic cycle, right? This was a lesson. Look, I'm seeing a lot of hidden emotions and a lot of confusion. This could have definitely been somebody that came in between you guys. And this masculine actually thought that this person, this person was you. But like I said, I'm picking up on like that shape-shifting energy. They thought this person was like you. They faked even, they even faked their spirituality, right? Yeah. It's like, ugh. Spirit, please give us more. This is like fraudulent stuff, right? Mmm. Queen of Cups. They're like, what is next with the Queen of Cups? They know that they caused you pain. They know that they they know that they hurt you. But they're wondering what is next. Because that's that queen of cups. That's that energy. That's that divine feminine energy. And how you love on people. Divine feminine. They don't forget that. Oh, they know the difference. Yeah, they, they know the difference from the fake. Real quick. And that's what this masculine's learning. Being away from you, they learn that this was fake. You were the real thing. Child. Look. This masculine is trying to figure out what's next. What's their next move with you? How do they come back towards you? But they're like, they're scared, frightened is what I'm getting, nervous about coming towards you. Oh, see, I keep getting these cards, right? I feel like they could have already pulled out of this situation. You may not be aware of it. Look, turning their back. Mm-hmm. Mm. I feel like they're definitely unplugged. This person is definitely trying to like um, clear their head and figure out what their next move is with you. Because look, the Wheel of Fortune, they want a future with you. Look, strategic planning about a divine connection with you two. Coming back together with divine feminine. Child, I don't know. Because I'm feeling like, I'm feeling some cold energy from divine feminine regarding a new beginning. Look. Look. Not seeing the benefit. This person is nostalgic for you. And this could also mean this is potentially a past life connection. You guys could have a soul contract. And this was a lesson that this masculine had to learn. But this was a harsh, harsh lesson, right? Mm-hmm. They really do want your forgiveness, though. They really do want your forgiveness. Mm-hmm. They're hoping that your vision towards them will change. You'll have a different outlook, right? You'll be able to see them more clearly. See them for who they are. See that they're being real. They have a lot of physical attraction towards you, and they do see you as the empress. They know who the real divine feminine is now. They know that that's you. You're the empress, right? Empress, queen of cups, and look happily ever after they want happily ever after with you right child i'm saying look what else we got spirit mm -hmm. i feel like there's a degree of public embarrassment here uh-huh they know like i feel like this person had them in a third party i feel like that was revealed this person had somebody else or multiples because I'm picking up this person's like for the streets. I'm not going to hold you because I've seen that in the pre-shuffle, right? 
Mm-hmm. And I feel like this masculine was publicly embarrassed with this person, right? Mm-hmm. They found out how fake they were. A copycat, doppelganger, right? They were like a shapeshifter. Like, they made themselves appear to be you. Even down to, like, I feel like hair, makeup. <sighs> Wow, Spirit, please give us more. They realize, this masculine realizes how much they love you, how much they're still in love with you, but they are pissed. They are so mad that they ended up in this cycle of betrayal. They're mad that they betrayed you, right? Yeah. With this fake, phony karmic is what I'm getting. They are just like... They can't believe that they fell for this. That's what I'm getting. They just, they're falling apart. Yeah, they're falling apart about this, right? Mm-hmm. Ciao. I feel like if they're still there, things are getting so bad, like things are getting worse. Because like I said, if they're still there, they can't even close their eyes, right? They don't trust this person. I feel like, again, there was some, some fraud regarding some documents or something like that. That's what I'm getting, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh, child. Look. Oh. Dang. I'm getting a lot of conflict. There's a lot of conflict between the two of them, right? Mm-hmm. A whole bunch of conflict. What else we got, spirit? A lot of chaos there. A lot of chaotic energy. This masculine is nervous. I feel like that's why if they have pulled back and they're in hermit mode, they're in hermit mode because they're nervous. There's a lot of anxiety, right? Worried about the future with you and coming back towards you. And how can they come back towards you, right? I, I feel like divine feminine, that's, you tame them, right? You definitely, you showed them what true love was, right? And they got confirmation of that when they went, when they ended up in this karmic cycle is what I'm getting. You showed them true love. Ciao. Transformative energy. Look at that. Scorpio energy on the board. Okay. So I'm seeing a new beginning, something coming to an end and a new beginning. You guys, uh, uh, use your intuition, follow your heart, divine feminine, as I am seeing a new beginning here and I'm seeing change. I'm seeing a lot of transformation. You could be seeing butterflies. You could be seeing moths, right? It's, it's symbols of transformation, right? Look, cool. It's that karmic energy, Capricorn energy on the board. You could be a Capricorn. Your person could be a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your chart. But I'm seeing here this like very toxic controlling energy, right? This person is liberating away from that. They've learned about true love with you. This was confirmation. This person, they, they step backwards, right? They step backwards and stepped into this type of cycle, right? And this is what this is a difficult lesson that they're learning. But this is all divine intervention. It's divine timing, right? I feel like this is your person, right? Yeah, this could be this definitely could be your life. Your your life partner. Because look at this. Your divine counterpart. We have the Ace of Cups showing up here, right? So this is a new beginning, right? So we got that showing up, a new beginning. We have the Scorpio energy here. We have the Strength card here. We got Leo, Scorpio. Yeah. Mmm. It's not going to be easy getting back in with you. I see that. I can feel that energy with you. I feel it through the reading, right? Hmm. <sighs> Ciao. What else we got, spirit? 
and they know it too. I'm picking up on that Queen of Swords energy, right? This person's coming into balance though. They are coming into balance and they want to get back right with you, get balanced with you. It's like immediately when things shifted, they thought about you. Like, what did I do? Immediately when the mask came off with this, this, this karmic, this shape-shifting energy, when they seen the real deal with them, they knew, they thought of you right at that moment. Like, what did I do? They knew right then and there that they screwed up big time. Not just making the wrong decision with them, but they messed up with you. That was the bigger thing, right? They knew. They had major regrets about what happened with you, right? Uh-huh. Divine Feminine, this masculine. Ooh, child. Nervous. Right? Mm-hmm. I feel like there was something to do. There was something said about you from this karmic as well to where is this masculine had to let them know, right? Like this masculine really had to let this, they, they didn't play about you even though you guys were apart, right? And I feel like that was something that really shook this karmic feminine because they thought that since you guys were apart, they had like all types of, it was just like, they could do what they wanted to do or say what they wanted to, but I feel like they said something about you and they got checked. Yeah, this masculine checked them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, child. What else we got, spirit? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This really got messy, right? And I feel like they really thought that this masculine was like playing with them. They thought this was a game. Oh no, oh no, and they don't play about you. Look, what did I tell you? That Queen of Swords energy, I feel like you're cold with them regarding a new beginning, right? I'm seeing a new beginning. I'm seeing this person wanting a new beginning after this difficult ending. They're manifesting you. They are manifesting you. They may not know it because they're thinking about you heavily and you can probably feel it. I told you, I knew I had a reader here, a high priestess, empress energy, y'all. Somebody that has psychic gifts could be a reader. This person's getting readings. They've been getting readings, oracle readings, um, tarot readings, right? Yeah, trying to get some insight, trying to figure out what you're feeling because this person is definitely out in the cold with you right and i'm seeing a queen of swords energy mm. i feel like this person is going to try though they're going to come back towards you it's like this person will take it right that's what i'm getting like you know this person is willing to accept you yelling at them you screaming at them you know or just whatever, just as long as you're talking to them. This person misses you. But I'm seeing the judgment card here. This is like second chances, Phoenix rising, rising from the ashes. But with this Queen of Swords, they got a lot of work ahead of them. Mm-hmm. But you can probably feel them manifesting you is what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because somebody here has a lot of spiritual gifts, right? Putting in a lot of work to come back towards you, right? This person does feel like you're a soulmate, right? They feel like this is a different type of connection that you guys share. Justice, confirmation, yeah. Look, I told you, a lot of anxiety. This person's not even sleeping. Mm-hmm. And it's more so, I feel like they're feeling like what they did to you. It's how they hurt you. More above anything else, it's like how they hurt you with their their decision, right? This person falling apart, child. Mm-hmm. All over all of this betrayal. Look, they're spying on you. Aquarius energy on the board. They're definitely watching you, watching your social media. I 
just get the energy that this person has already pulled back from this karmic mm -hmm. for a lot of you guys now. Um, but I, I feel like they have. I'm, somebody's in hermit mode. Somebody is in hermit mode. And I also feel like this masculine is hoping that you're still single. That could be why I'm seeing that. Mm hmm Because you are their wish fulfillment. Look at that. You're their wish fulfillment, right? This is a whole tower moment that happened over here. Yep. And I feel like they felt it. They immediately felt a ton of regret about what happened between you guys when this, this karmix mask came off. That's what they thought about. They didn't even think about what was going on in that current situation. It was like their mind just went back to you. And I feel like it just keeps replaying. Like times that they share it with you, it just keeps replaying in their head, right? And it's like they're being haunted by what they did to hurt you as well. They're being haunted by their decision. That's why this person, I feel like, is in, they're in hermit mode, right? They're like in this solitude. That's why this card came out. And then we have hermit mode. Mm -hmm. They want to be back in harmony with you. This is a celebration card also, too. This could be a wedding. This could be an engagement, um, some type of union. Also, 1111, pay attention to the synchronicities, you guys, the signs and synchronicities, right? Yeah, this person's definitely made up their mind to come back towards you, but they're in their head overthinking, you know, wondering how you're going to respond to them, how you're going to receive them. They were in their head about this the moment things went wrong. They were thinking about how they could get back to you the moment that happened, right? It was like, I'm picking up on like, there was like a whole production, like a whole bunch of chaos, right? But in the midst of that chaos, they couldn't even hear it because they were thinking about you. They couldn't even focus on that chaos that was going on, right? Mm-hmm. And I feel like they caught this person in the act of something with somebody else. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm gonna put it out there like that. That's what I'm picking up on, right? Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's like everything's falling apart, right? It's like, I feel like they're fantasizing a lot about you, right? But then it's like the fantasy crumbles, right? It goes away because they start overthinking and thinking that you're not going to be receptive to them, right? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of hidden things here, a lot of hidden emotions, right? But I'm telling you, they dump this on day like I feel like... it. I feel like they dumped this, this karmic third party. They cut them loose. They let them go, right? They they detach from this, right? Mm-hmm. And I feel like there's some plotting going on, though. And I feel like this masculine is not the only one that's watching your social media. I feel like it's this karmic, this karmic feminine as well. Yep. What else we got, spirit? Mm-hmm. What else we got? Telling you, I'm picking up on magic. This person, this is like a witch. I swear. I'm picking up on that with this person, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So this masculine definitely regrets the betrayal that took place, betraying you. Um, I feel like picking up on twin flame energy too, you guys a soul contract. There's some type of soul contract here, a past life agreement. Um, and I always tap into that energy, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's something about money too regarding this, right? There's, that could have been where the fraud is that I'm picking up this person. This masculine sees you as a priority. A lot of equal give and take is what I'm getting here. They definitely want to start off on the right foot with you. I'm picking up on their energy. There is so much regret here regarding this whole situation. And I feel like they feel so played because they fell for this, this fake energy, this copycat, this betrayal, right? Mm, a lot of confusion and a lot of choices, right? Yeah. They know they made the wrong choice with this person, but I'm seeing that they're hoping that you'll choose them in the future, you guys. They're hoping for a future with you guys, right? 
so more than you think, more than you could ever know. I feel like they are definitely hoping for a future with you guys, right? You got Divine Feminine, get prepared because this masculine is definitely going to come back towards you. I feel like they're definitely coming back for a long-term commitment with you. They want to get it right this time. This was like a very toxic situation that they ended up trapped in. I feel like it was a mistake and they want you to know that. That's their current energy. That's what this masculine wants you to know, right? This is what their true intentions are towards you. They want to know what your current thoughts are, what your hidden emotions are, you know, towards them. Mm-hmm. Definitely, you guys, right? Yeah. They feel like they fell for a big game and they feel they're embarrassed, but they regret. They regret the pain that they caused you. You guys, look what I was... <laughs> King of Cups, King of Cups and Queen of Cups. Look, hoping that you'll have a new perspective going forward. Yeah, this masculine is in love with you. They're still in love with you. They never stop loving you. I feel like this person, they feel like they were tricked, right? Mm-hmm. You guys, I'm leaving this reading here. Thank you guys so, so much. And I will see you for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love ya. Bye.